once a derelict bus garage in South London, now one of the most famous nightclubs in the world. But the Ministry of Sound could be under threat if this building across the road becomes a high-rise residential block. During the day, this doesn't feel different to any street in central London. But come Friday night, it's a very different story. And with the redevelopment just metres away, the club is worried that complaints from residents about noise could force them to close down. They're asking the mayor for protection. We would like the people who are moving into those apartments, buying those apartments and renting those apartments, to sign a piece of paper that commits not to complain about Ministry of Sound going forward. It's been a four-year battle between the club and developers Oakmain. In March 2009, plans for a new block of 255 flats and 80 affordable homes were submitted. In October 2011, Southwark Council rejected the plans because they didn't meet affordable housing needs. Two months later, the application was called in for mayoral review. The mayor makes his final decision on the 19th of November. All in favour of preserving cultural icons everywhere in London, but unfortunately I can't really say much more about that particular uh, decision at this moment. The developers declined to comment, but Southwark Council wants both parties to coexist. One local estate agent sees no reason why they can't. New blocks with uh, double glazing um, wouldn't have uh, an issue with noise at all, I'd say. The higher you are, I'd be surprised if anyone living in these flats would hear anything. We've been here for 22 years. We want to be here for another 50, 100 years. We don't think that London wants to lose us. The mayor will decide if the block will be converted into flats later this month. The club will also find out whether it will be granted protection from noise complaints. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.